Hi, brothers and sisters. This is your sister, Faya. And I came to talk to you all today about um, multiple personality disorder, okay? The truth about multiple uh, personality disorders, okay? The truth about this is that multiple personality disorder is simply demon possession, my brothers and sisters. Yes, uh, MPD is simply um, demon possession, okay? And um, I'm, I'm going to kind of break this down to you. Um, people dealing with this, okay, the reason why, um, you know, you feel like um, you have multiple uh, different personalities is because you actually do. They're demons, okay? And so they have possessed your body. Usually this happens at a young age. It usually um, happens when there was a traumatic event that took place in your life. Um, an event that usually um, brings a lot of fear onto you as a child, okay? That's usually um, when you get uh, MPD, okay? What they call MPD, okay? And so what your defense mechanism does um, is that that, de that demon has entered your body or those demons have enter, entered your body, okay? And so that when you will find yourself when you get in a stressful situation a lot of times, that is when these so-called multiple um, personalities will come out, okay? And like I said, they are multiple personalities, but they are demonic. They're demon personalities, okay? And so um, you have to know or, or remember that demons are beings that once lived here on this earth in a body like us, okay? They are the disembodied Nephilim. When the Lord flooded the earth the first time, and uh, got rid of everybody except for Noah and his family, these were, they were uh, alive walking around in bodies just like me and you, okay? And their spirits are still here on earth, okay? And so, um, yes. So, like I said, demons are um, able to possess us okay, when we have sin in our life, okay, and when we are not saved, okay, and so they love to attack children, okay, because it's, you know, before a lot of times you can even know who God is, it's before you can even know who Jesus is, you see what I'm saying, and they like to get in with fear, with trauma, Okay, so if you, you ask a lot of people who have been diagnosed with this disorder, a lot of them will tell you that something traumatic happened to them as a child. Okay, and so, um, so, okay, so yes, so um, these demons will enter, okay, and usually it's not just one demon uh, that enters you when they enter. They usually come with other demons, okay? And so going back to they used to be in a body, walking the earth like me and you, okay? That means they all had different personalities. They all had different voices. They all had different characteristics. And so when they possess your body, and you have multiple of them possessing your body, there you are. 
And so that's why I say it is multiple personalities, but they're not persons per se. They are demons. So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of, <laughs> I don't know, in limbo with that, but it, it's kind of like multiple demon personalities is the what I would say would be the correct way to put it. Okay. And this is not putting anyone down because I know there are a lot of people who suffer from this. Okay. But I came to bring you good news that you no longer have to suffer from this quote unquote disorder. Okay. Because it's simply demon possessions, my brothers and sisters. Okay. You can go to the Bible, um, Mark chapter five, verse nine, where there was a demon possessed man. Okay. And he was clearly out of his mind. Um, and he had a super strength and he was filled with many demons. Okay. And so Jesus, uh, before casting the demons out of the man, he asked him, what was his, what was his name? What, what, was the demon's name. And he said, uh, my name is Legion. We are many. Okay. So this, um, coincides with what I'm saying is that, um, uh, there can be many, usually there, like I said, when a demon enters you, they usually bring their friends. Okay. And so, um, this is where you get the multiple, uh, demon personalities. They all have different traits, or not, I don't want to say traits or characteristics. Um, they can even have different voices. This is how you have some people with MPD who, um, with their person, different personalities, they can have one voice one minute and then switch to a whole nother voice. Okay. Because that is the demon that is possessing the body speaking. Okay. And so, um, the good news is that you can be free. Okay. What you need to do to get free, my brothers and sisters, is you need to have a believer in Jesus Christ who is saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay. And I would suggest that you go to, um, an experienced, you know, believer, you know, uh, a pastor or something like that, or someone who is experienced in exorcism. Okay. Because that's what Jesus basically did. He did an exorcism on that man, um, that was filled with the legion. Okay. And so, um, yeah, you, I would, I would, uh, you know, suggest that you go to someone who is experienced with this, um, you know, uh, you know, with, uh, demonic possession and with casting demons out. Okay. And have them cast those demons out of you. Okay. And I would also suggest that you fast for at least three days if possible. Okay. Because what that does is it weakens the demons. Anytime you fast, it weakens them. You're not feeding them what they want. Okay. And yes, um, once you do that, those demons can be cast out of you and you will be free of what they like to call MPD, multiple personality disorder. Okay. My brothers and sisters. So know that Jesus, when he, when he, uh, sacrificed himself for us, he sacrificed ourself uh, he sacrificed himself just for these particular things for us to be free. He came to set the captives free, free from bondage of the enemy. And that is from, uh, you know, um, multiple personality disorders, demon possession. Okay. Um, mental illnesses which is also demon possession. He came to set us totally free, my brothers and sisters. So that is the good news. And like I said, I do not um, make light of this at all. 
you know, and that's why I'm here making this video to come and speak to my brothers and sisters so that if you don't already know, you can be set free. So, um, I hope this has blessed someone. And if it has blessed you, please hit the like button so that this video can go on the algorithm and bless someone else. If you know someone who is suffering uh, from MPD, please share this video to them so it can bless them, my brothers and sisters. And as always, I do these videos out of love. This is your sister Faya. Until next time.